Hey students, we are going to be learning about the llama today. The Inca Empire had uh, llamas and they used them for so many different things. So uh, hey, in the next video segment here, it's coming right up following this. Make sure you turn your volume up because this was recorded outside um, at an alpaca farm and the volume's a little bit on the quiet side. So turn it up and listen and I uh, hope we have a good lesson today. All right, see you guys. How's it going? It's good to see you guys and hey, welcome PAC 641 and 643. My name is Mr. Fogel and today we're talking about llamas with the Incas and today I am here at an alpaca farm in a monument area because unlike the Aztecs and the Mayas who did not have beasts of burdens, the Inca is the first society that we look at that had a beast of burden. Beast of burden is an animal that can work for you. So the Incas had alpacas and llamas. Now, the llamas is an amazing animal because the llama can carry about 125 pounds for 15 to 20 miles a day. Plus, they eat just about anything and they need very little water because the llama and alpacas are the cousins of the camel. So they can go a far distance without much water. They can eat just about anything. Now, the Incas use llamas for all kinds of stuff. The Incas used the llamas obviously to carry things for them so they could pack on them and carry things far distance away. They also used llamas for their fur and alpacas for their fur. They could make coats out of them. They could use their hides to make coats. And they also would use llama dung, yes, llama poo, to start fires and use as fuel. Uh, the other thing that they used so when the llama would pass away or uh, towards the end of his life they would kill the llama something that they made out of the llama was they would take the meat and they would slice it thin and put it out to dry in the sun and they called this charqui it's where we get our term jerky from so it's dried meat Hey students, I wanted to add on to this video. Uh, another thing that the llamas was used for was sacrificing. So when there was a large event, like a new emperor or a new temple, a war, a drought, something like that, uh, they would sacrifice. Uh, they did do human sacrificing too. We'll look at that in another lesson. But one of the animals that they sacrificed quite often was the llama. And so there were many people in the Inca Empire who were llama farmers. They would actually raise llama, have just hundreds of llamas for the purpose of uh, uh, people using them, um, trading for them so they could have a, a llama. But they also were used for sacrificing. So it was important to keep the llama population up and functioning at a high level. So if you were a llama farmer in the Inca empire, you were a very important person. All right, hey students, uh, thanks for watching the video. Um, hope you have a great week, bye.